What's up, beautiful people? It's your homegirl, Miss Shameless. I looked in Mexico. We in Mexico. She's enjoying the sun. That's another video, though. I have so much to catch you up on, but I think I should take you back to wedding. She married. She's she's betrothed. Betrothed. <laughs> I wanted to, you to meet my husband. <laughs> what is 2020? Max, get over here! <laughs> <laughs> We got married, so I think we should talk about that. The wedding was a beautiful ceremony planned in one week's time. I don't think that any of you or I, or anyone else for that matter, had any expectation whatsoever. But we got the papers to get married one day, uh, one week before you had to leave the country. Yes. So we, I called the Swedish church, shout out to the Swedish church, shout out to well paid tax money, because yes. it allows you free weddings if you are a member of the Swedish church, which I am. Uh, so they arranged on very short notice a beautiful, beautiful. Lutheran, Lutheran? Lutheran Lutheran church in Örebro. Yeah. Am I allowed to yeah, say, yeah. We can say where. <laughs> Closest family members on uh, Max's side. On my, my side. And uh, I had some friends there, but I didn't want to invite my friends that you hadn't met. So we made sure that the friends that I was introduced, uh, invited was people that you had met and like kind of knew in that yeah. sense. It was 10 people. I did miss my family, um, but the reality is you can't really have big weddings anyways. No. At least for... We were allowed to have 50 people in the church at the time. Yeah, and then if we had, which we will probably do in Canada, but you can't even have large gatherings. Like, no. All of that's out of the window. So yeah. I think our, I mean, with or without pandemic, I thought our wedding was so beautiful. Yeah. I never imagined getting married in a church. And so to stand there, Max walked down the aisle with me just to be able to look at you. And they had the church bells going. Yeah. I was like, what the? Those I bells remember are going that was us. a very crucial moment because it was like everything went so quick. Yeah. She had done the compost the same day as she got married. Because we are leaving. So this, the day we got married is the day we had to leave sure, Sweden. Yeah. So I'm composting because I love composting. That, that's another video. Yeah. I love composting. So the day of Max was like, Maya, don't do it. I'll do it. Yeah. I'm like, get out of here. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Same day. Everything went so quick. We drove to the church. But these photos were captured by Max's good friend, Leon. Leon He's driver, a yeah. wedding photographer. I mean, thank you, Leon. This is the best <laughs> wedding gift because like, yeah. it made um, it look so beautiful. Yeah. My dress was like, I bought it like three days before. Yeah. 25 bucks from a thrift store. So it was very beautiful. Um, but who are you? <laughs> I am originally from Sweden. I have a Scottish mother and a Swedish father. They are not together, not that that's relevant, but they are, uh, I'm brought up in Sweden. I'm born in Sweden. Um, I work as a videographer, content maker and actor, I guess. I think that's what my background is anyway. Uh, and I. <laughs> like same as me <laughs> and i uh i what else like what what do you, you want to know when you ask that question who are you, you? People, always... a lot of people think you're german but okay you were in <laughs> berlin for school yeah so he's not german no yeah we, we met in colombia yeah solo travelers at costeño beach which is a hostel for surfing and neither one of us got to surf while we were there but it was Portable. it's very like young yeah. Groups of people. I was the only solo person there, and then I saw you there by yourself. Oh, we're doing this now. Yeah. Okay. This, this is how we met, and then um, I saw him. I had noticed him noticing me, <laughs> mm -hmm. and then we noticed again each other at the coffee stand, and that's when we started to relate. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's the, how we how met. we met. The short version. And I have a video. Solo travel here where I talk about you. Yeah. You were like mentioned in my video. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And I remember um, how flattered I was when you shouted out, shouted out, shouted out at me. Yeah. I like a warning. These things means a lot to me, so I have a tendency to go deep. 
Oh, right, yes, and, like, the questions. W- I'm going to do my best to condense a cohesive answer on the questions that I yes. that we have. So if you aren't already following me on Instagram, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. Follow me on Instagram because I'm most active there. Everyone knows what's going on, why I'm in Mexico. But I asked you on Instagram what questions you have. Too many questions. Just too many. Um, good we, questions, though. So many good questions, but I think that's, like, we have to answer it as we go. Mm-hmm. And ho- maybe, hopefully, this works out for all of us. Yeah. Max will be here more. Yeah. Because it's a lot. I think it's a lot to be with someone who has a big personality online. Mm. And you're, like, so, not that. Like, no. How How is that, actually? That's my question. That's your question to me? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, you know, it's it's a bit of a... It's ironic because I have, you know, I'm an actor. Like, well, I pursued acting. I've sort of gone a different career path now, which I'm happy of. But, like, it's funny because when I am playing, when I'm starting in a play or in a film, these ants, ah, sorry. Uh, When I'm starting in a play or a film, I'm, you know, a character. And now, all of a sudden, whenever I am introduced to your world, I'm Max. Mm -hmm. And there's something uncomfortable about being yourself in front of the camera and a whole new world. And also knowing that when you are posting with us, I am a character in that world. Right. So I think that like into like that adaption for me has been challenging in the sense of like, you know, just you know, taking it for what it is and or separated from it. But I think it's generally like a very self growing thing. Like it's it's allowing me to be more vulnerable and I feel like I am exploring things because I'm now more exposed to a bigger audience or a bigger, you know, viewers, I'm 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 feeling more, you know, content. Is that conscious or no, as in the opposite of that, because oh, okay. you're now exposed to it so often. So now oh, okay. it's more like you're, you're you're getting stronger. You're getting more comfortable with it. Comfortable with it, yeah. More shameless, if you will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, more shameless. Are you a little bit more shameless. Married to my 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 guru. A shameless guru. <laughs> <a> shameless guru. <laughs> okay, so that's my question. Now let's get into your questions that you asked on Instagram. Um, there's so many, but okay. Speaking of shameless, I think I haven't addressed this, which I feel a little awkward talking about, which is the whole celibacy journey. That was something I was comfortable when it was just my journey, but then I started to date you. Mm. Um, and then it's it's almost like my privacy is now spilling over into Max's privacy, which is not something he signed up for. So I consciously chose to not talk about it, but because that was a really popular question on Instagram, was it hard to remain celibate before marriage? Um, Yes, it was. Hmm. I tried my darndest, (laughs) but I think the question I had to start asking myself is, why did you decide to be celibate? And what is the definition of marriage? Is a definition of marriage commitment between two people legalized or is it the commitment between two people? Mm. And I, I've noticed in my whole journey that I see people that are married without the legal business bureaucratic system and they're common in law. But to me, they seem more married than sometimes couples with a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So for me, the definition of marriage is what is marriage and I think it's a commitment between two people and I think because I we never talked about this but when I met Max like our first night we hung out together completely platonic Mm -hmm. we you already knew I was celibate I was telling you about my whole journey I was celibate and then seeing that you know when someone is you know so uh, adamant about something and it's you know embodied in their now that lifestyle I had to put that aside because this person there's no sex yeah. in this conversation or this uh, potential friendship or whatever it was at the time and that felt liberating for me because I felt like I get to know Maya and she gets to know me and I feel like sex can be a very distraction it's great but I also think it can be a, 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 a distra- distraction to to get to know someone at, at their core yeah. I think it should be something that is more introduced as opposed to like the basis. initiated or basis yeah. I think so for me it was incredibly necessary I think um, to even date someone who was celibate because it allowed me to get to know you on so many other levels before even introducing that part yeah <laughs> can I put on oh my god yeah, go, go. I'm, I'm burnt like my no, these aunts 
Another question. In which does your cultural difference enhance or challenge your relationship? Wow. So many good questions. Uh, I will say that what I found, despite our seeming differences, we had so much to relate to. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm Filipino, I'm African American, but you're Scottish and Swedish, and those are two completely different cultures. Uh -huh. And I think what we related, what I related to in Max was he had, uh, you had perspective, uh -huh. because you do have two different cultures in your own family coming together as one, and I had two different cultures in my family coming together uh -huh. as one. It's and true. so we related in the sense that we have these experiences of these different worlds and we're never fully one thing, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So we, we both have a very culturally diverse family and then now we're coming together. And yes, physical appearances, we look different. Mm -hmm. We have different cultures, but I think we related on the, the mixed yeah. cultures within our own. I would even add another component to that what makes it even more similar is that you and I in our respective families are uh -huh. living very similar yeah. in terms of like we both moved abroad yeah. we're both like loners in that sense we're yeah. both artists as opposed to our family members the majority of our family members are more st like stable in that sense they have their home they have their car yeah uh, their, jobs. their jobs is very like nine to what do you call it yeah. Seven to not seven. Nine to five. <laughs> nine to five. <laughs> but nine you guys to, call it ten yeah. to six. No, no, we say uh, what is it? Seven to four. Seven to four. Yeah, oh. to <laughs> See, culture difference. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I will say the shocking, like the differences, mm -hmm. was the Swedish mentality, which is equality. Yeah. Swedes are very into their equality. They're not um, chivalrous, hmm. and it was something that threw me off about you because in the beginning, I'm so used to guys doing the act. And when, I'm, when I say that, I mean like they open the doors oh, yeah. for you. <laughs> they pay for the dinner. They do all these things. Yeah. But they still disrespect you. Like they still cheat on you. <laughs> they still, <laughs> like I had a guy who was like, oh, we walk on the outside of the street. I'm like, why do you do that when you still cheat on the women? Like, so you decide to walk on the outside of the street to show that you respect them. But then that same guy, because it's happened to me, cheats on yeah. you. So I think that was shocking about yeah. you like he never opened the door for me i was like you opened you, the door for me because i come from a culture where you do that to women some women in sweden and they were like they don't, you, don't you think i can open my door myself yeah and you're like i don't need a man to do that for me i'm like sorry so you know i think that is there's i've talked to women and men about that i think there's yeah. a lot of perks and pros with but it's something that, I had to Google. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> I you Googled, Googled it because yeah, I was like, "That's how men are." There, what yeah. is he doing? Like, yeah. And I, I read articles from women who were like, "If you're looking for romance, don't look for it from a Swede." <laughs> like all these things. I was like, <laughs> "Oh, yeah." They're like I was like, oh, "Okay." They said, "Don't expect romance from a Swede, but expect um, very kind, uh, kindness and good men from s Swedes." Mm. Yeah. But what about race? I think mm. for me that was my biggest challenge. It's a big thing. Because in America, there's a huge racial push. Like, I'm a woman of color, I'm a black woman. And it's all black love. That was like, you know, the Obamas, that was like the vision. And so for me, I had a lot of, I had to ask myself questions. I had to question myself a lot because I met this amazing guy who is kind, who's emotionally intelligent. Like, I gush, I always go gush about Max, but he's all these things. And am I going to write someone off based on the color of their skin? Mm. And I had to like, I think that was my biggest struggle because I, Maya didn't care, but I cared about what other people cared yeah. or thought they would care about. And I almost missed out on like the greatest love story of all time because there's a lot of story, the book, the memoirs, <laughs> the feature film is coming. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was the biggest hurdle I had to get over. And then age. There's so many little hurdles. Yeah. And then distance, long distance. Uh, so to answer the question, I had to get over my own programming. And I think for me... Yeah, what about you? I, th I think for me, when it comes to race, was like I had to like step back and observe someone who, who is from a culture or from a society where race is being raced a lot in terms right, of like yeah. they talk about it. Whereas... My experience, well, I, when I lived in London, it was obviously a more common subject because it's more diverse than oh, Sweden yeah. it's is. It's like Toronto. Yeah, so it's like, yes, I was aware that there are, like, because that's my sound ignorant, but it's almost like I wasn't even 
aware that we were different. Right. Because yeah, yeah. it's so like embedded in our, you know, we don't really talk about it that way. That's yeah. like something new. Like I see people in Sweden now referring to white and black or, you know, whatever ethnicity you have, which wasn't a thing when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, it was weird because it was like people were ignorant, but it was almost as if they were more accepting then as it is now. It's like a weird twist. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, for me, it was like I get where you're coming. Yeah, from. like so. So for me, I felt very ignorant on that. I, like I didn't feel like I had any opinions. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna go deeper in that because I've had my own uh, right. realizations now. But I think that's a other another video. I'm speaking as if I'm the YouTuber now, as if. <laughs> That's it's no, gonna be but a video. We should. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's another video. Because yeah, Max video. has this whole thing where he like lived in Uganda and you've been exposed to different cultures and language, and you've seen, you've had to witness your own whiteness. But that's another video. Yeah, exactly. A memoir. A memoir. <laughs> okay. Marriage. Marriage. <laughs> um, oh, this was a good question. How did you know that I was the one, hmm? and vice versa? So how did you know I was the one? Um, well, I think I have to like keep track on my lo like my love language, which is clearly like feelings or word of affirmations, right? Okay. So I have to when so when something when a feeling inside is so strong and so mm, so inevitable, like you can't hide it. I have right. to go with it. And there were so many things that was pushing me towards. After I met Maya, first of all, I had an amazing time. She was the most funniest person. I, she made me laugh. She was beautiful. But there was no way in that time where I felt like, oh, she's going to be the woman of, you know, the woman I marry. Right. Never. Uh, but after I met you, there were so many things that was beyond my control. For me, how I knew you were the one is because he never put on for me. He never tried to, you know, open the door for me. You never tried to buy me things. If anything, when I told you I was coming to Sweden, when I was driving, because I'm such an adventurer. Like, I just, I think that's my my personality. I forget the letters, but it's like adventurer. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go to Sweden and I'm going to check out Sweden because I'm close and I'm going to check out your town. So I flew in, didn't take into consideration you're four hours or three hours away from the airport. I rent a car and I'm driving. I'm like, what am I doing? Um, but at this point, um, Max was, he was such a good friend. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but not only is he a good friend, he's funny, he's caring, he's so brutally honest. Like you're so, I don't know if you were afraid or not afraid to be yourself, but you were just yourself. And I remember like arriving to, to Sweden to your home and he had like flip flops and like not the outfit on. And I got out of the car and I'm like, he didn't wear no cologne. He didn't get his hair did. His feet need some lotion. And you're just you. And I'm like, I could never. His <laughs> feet need some lotion. <laughs> I was like, that's why we're friends. That's why we're friends. But then we go to your place and you start cooking for me. And you start making me laugh. And I'm like, right, this is the reason why you like him. Because he's just him. He's not trying to trick you into something he's not. And to go from my previous relationship, which was a lot of like, you know, the courting stage. I'm like, F a courtship. Because to me, it's like, that they manipulated you, girl. <laughs> they put it on because they're gonna drop that act in a month or two. Mm. And so for me, who you were in the beginning is who you still are to this day. And one of the things that you said that like, oh, got my heart was, you never apologize for what you didn't have. Cause that was something I was very aware of. You were like, um, just so you know, I don't have much, but what I do have, I'll share with you. And that that took me out. That made me like cry. I'm like, oh, he's so honest. So that's how I knew that Max was for me because he was brutally honest with who he was. Um, he gave me what he had. And for me, I don't need a lot. Like the things that I need, I provided for myself, which was a career, um, independence, all of these things. But what Max brought into my life, the things I wasn't even aware of was emotional intelligence, um, and funny enough, actually, I, I had written out what a day in a life looks like with my ideal partner, how they make me feel, how I make them feel. And like Max was that. So I wrote out my destinies and um, and you're just you. <laughs> Give me keys. Yeah, I, I just have to add on. Oh, well, my eyebrow wiped up on you. Oh, wow. Here, wipe your face. 
but I have learned from my own mistake too in previous relationship, obviously. Okay. And in terms of like, he wasn't putting on that. I've done that. Oh, okay, like, okay. You know, it's important for me to say that. You were that. I've been I've been there. Yeah. And I've clearly hurt people and been hurt in that that the mask that you put on in that world yeah. of being someone that you're not. And it feels good in the beginning and you get a lot of affirmation and a lot of like encouragement within that. And you get like, you know, you get, yeah, you feel confirmed, but then reality hits, like yeah. you catch up on you and, 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 and you just feel lost and depressed in that world. <laughs> so, yeah. And actually when I met Max, like I didn't have no makeup on, I had mm. no makeup, no perfume. I was stinky too. I was just me. The good old Bob Marley tank top. I had my Bob Marley tank top on. <laughs> so it's like two independent beings being brutally honest with who they are mm. without even trying. They're just existing yeah. in their element and we're drawn together. So I feel like we knew each other was a one because we were just being and I feel like God was just like, come on, you guys, yeah. come on, come on. That's that question. Next question. Yeah. Next question. Do you guys want kids? That's a... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, want, but who who decides if you want or exactly. can in this world? Yeah. Like, that's, that's I think we're I both in the same boat it? of if it's meant to be, it'll be. If yeah. not, there's so many. There's just so many ways, like mm. biological kids, adopted kids. Yeah. Um, do you have a timeline? No. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> so many things that we're we're in alignment with mm. in terms of even that, like children. But that was a big thing that I was worried about in the beginning. Yeah, of course. Because I was like, I what if I can't? Like, you know, I have a time clock but to be honest what is this clock and who decided it and is that the only way and no mm. first impressions we'll talk about that. age difference we'll talk about that. did we talk about age difference though yes, so the age difference is 12 years 12 years who's older who's younger is max 50 <laughs> <laughs> because i'm 38 so that makes max do the math um I think in the beginning, it was an of issue. Of course, in the like, it would be. Everything it would be. Issue. It would be naive to. It would be stupid to say that it wasn't something. Like we're like, we're both, you know, affected by social. Yeah. We're social condition to obviously think that it's wrong, and especially when the w woman is older than the man. Right. So that's already going against the norm. So of course I was affected by that. Yeah. I you know I questioned myself a lot for that. I, I was you know. Insecure, a lot of insecure uh, triggers with that whole just number really but like I said like going back to you know backtracking to what I was saying about feelings when something is that strong and something feels so good for me there's no uh, all of that becomes secondary it's not even secondary it becomes irrelevant to what I want and what I feel because otherwise I'm just creating a world that is not real towards something in the future that's not even here like if i have someone that i love that much that makes me feel so good that has so much in common with there and then i'm not gonna you know let that slide just because i have an idea of how my world should be like yeah. all my life for that matter Same. so note to my older ladies my older ladies we acting like there's no options out there there's not enough men yes there are change that age bracket <laughs> go go low girl go low how low can you go go lower I met him when he was 25 <laughs> and Max is like more mature than some of the 40 year olds I've dated. And once you can break through all the conditioning and programming and you start looking for souls and energy versus stats and all that stuff, mm -hmm. then I think you're setting yourself up for, um, I don't know, I love the choices I've made and I'm so grateful. Once we got over the hurdle, we got over the hurdle. Yeah, and then it just becomes... You just go on with life. Yeah, yeah. Max. There's so many other things. To turn off, about. like, close the fridge door when you're not using it. Maya, like, leave me alone. <laughs> There's so many other things to worry about. Yeah. So you think that's it? This is a very long video. If you have other questions for us that you'd like to address in another, you'd like us to address in another video, let us know in the comments below. But that's a, that's a long video. I wonder how long this edit's going to be. Uh, check yeah, Max 22. out on Instagram. You post more on stories than you do on your timeline. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not the best social media. I'm very irregular, but things are there. My work is there, I think. Yeah, you can see Max's Shameless. Shameless. Put out, put out your seeds. 
sow the seeds so you can reap the harvest. <laughs> okay, make sure you're subscribed to turn the notifications on. And until next time, remember to do you, be you, stay true. Shameless. <laughs> Maxa out. Maxima. Maxima. Thank you.